cuando veo cara de memo me da alegría, pero a la vez como que nervios, porque no sé qué vaya a pasar. There's a lot of energy at the races, but it's really dangerous and I don't like it too much. Sometimes the police chase you, and it's exciting. Sometimes you can get away, but if they catch you, they can hold you for up to three days in jail. I don't know whether they haven't wanted to catch us or haven't been able to, but so far we've always gotten away. And when they come, we just go to another street. It's not like we just go home, we go somewhere else. Let's go, go to the state, let's go. We're right on the border between the state and the district. When the state police come, we go to the district. When the district police come, we go to the state. So unless they both come together, we are all right. All the stuff that's going on right now with race cars, everything else. The accidents, the people dying. The police officer is not playing anymore. Especially New York City. Uh, when they take your race cars, they're crushing them. You're looking at 20, maybe $50,000 cars are getting destroyed. It's out of hand, especially the cars are getting faster. They're not as slow as they used to be 10 years ago. You know, now you're looking at seven second cars, eight second cars on the street. You know, by the time you realize the car's out of control, you're dead. If the tire blows out, a car breaks in the front, you could kill five, ten people. Matter of fact, I almost got killed. So that day I got I got back into the shop, I got out my race car, I took it completely apart and sold it. Every last piece of it. There's nothing like seeing a telephone pole in front of you and your whole family flash it in front of your face. Then you get to decide whether you want to go home or whether you want to stay street racing. I'm gonna try and go home from now on. People think it's dangerous to race on a highway, but it's not really true. But once you experience it, you'll find out that racing is a type of sport just like football and soccer. Just like any other sports, you will have a great time as long as you play by the rules. There aren't any specific rules for streetcar racing, but there is etiquette, like using blinkers. The driver who is ahead at the end of a long straightaway is usually the winner. If it is a very close race, the driver who backs down loses. Oh, man, he's 
everyone coming out? Everyone's down tonight. Yeah. But, I mean, have you got any with you? I mean, I know he's going to race tonight. I know Chris will. A couple of the others at the moment have gone down to one of our sites where we go. Um, there's about three or four cars and a couple of bikes that's gone down now. Um, this is going to check out to make sure the road's clear. There's no cars parked up down there. If there is any, try and just get them to move, basically. Yeah, when I get the text, I'll give you the signal and then you can get the guys together and we'll leave, yeah? Yeah, I'll, all right, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll sort my lot out, all right? Yeah, well, if everyone's going together, we'll just get down there now. All right, and other than that, we're good to go. So, that's it, let's go street racing. Yeah, we're going to go My name is Tyro and everybody calls me Tybo. This is my son Tyrone Jr. and this is my wife Kenya. Well, you know, when you get up that line, you, you know, you burn the rubber, you smell the fumes. I mean, it, they, the, the feeling is like you're breaking your virginity. It's just the feeling that when you're coming through the end, you did it. You know, it's something you've been reaching a goal for, you accomplished. But you want to say, okay, I want to graduate college. You know, and you say, hey, I want to get to the end of that quarter and mean it. You know, and that's the feeling. People are watching, you're like, I can't mess up. <laughs> Even when I was at my son's age, I love cars, I love motorcycles, and it was it was always something that, that's in the blood. You know, it's just that you're born with. Race uh those big blocks of L over there. Ty Bo. Going down. You know who won. Yeah, you know who won. Said I cheated, which is true. <laughs> because I have to when you're dealing with rat. They don't call him fat rat for nothing. I ain't messing with him. Till next week. This is fun. It's really going tonight. Look, here are some more good cars. This is dangerous, and that's why I'm here, to look after my son. This is getting tricky. It's getting really tight, and people could get run over. I hope no one gets run over. Well, if something happens, we just take them to the hospital and leave them there. Just take them to the hospital. Yeah, it's getting dangerous. I wouldn't blame myself if anything ever happened to my son on the street. Obviously, I'm always worried that something's going to happen. But me being here or not being here isn't going to change that. I'm always going to worry. My wife and I fight about the racing. She wonders how can I encourage him to do something so dangerous. And when I say something to him about it, she says I have no right to because I taught him how to do it. One day, I saw him driving down the road so fast.
This is fun. It's really going tonight. Look, here are some more good cars. This is dangerous, and that's why I'm here, to look after my son. This is getting tricky. It's getting really tight, and people could get run over. I hope no one gets run over. Well, if something happens, you just take them to the hospital and leave them there. Just take them to the hospital. Yeah, it's getting dangerous. I wouldn't blame myself if anything ever happened to my son on the street. Obviously, I'm always worried that something's going to happen. But me being here or not being here isn't going to change that. I'm always going to worry. My wife and I fight about the racing. She wonders how can I encourage him to do something so dangerous. And when I say something to him about it, she says I have no right to because I taught him how to do it. One day I saw him driving down the road so fast. I couldn't even catch him. When I got home and told my wife, she said that I had no right to scold him. It was my fault for teaching him. So now, I can't say anything. I had a bad accident on Clapham Road. It was in my old car. I was driving down the road and a little Turbo S pulled up beside me. So we decided to see who was faster. We were racing and a car pulled out in front of me. The Beatles stopped and I tried to stop, but the car kept going. I skidded off the road and ran into the guardrail. I was still going very fast, and when we hit, I hurt my knee pretty badly. And the friend who was riding up front with me fractured his spine. He was almost paralyzed, and another friend in the car was also hurt. Hit No, where are you, yeah? All right, mate, I'll be five minutes. The place that we're going to tonight, it's a dead end road and easily you can get up to 120, 130 miles an hour down now. And when there's only two cars side by side, I mean anything could happen. We've seen like slight little accidents where people have been going too fast and they put their foot on the brake too quickly and back end just skidded and they've actually clipped the car next to them. Oh, we're here. We started coming down here a lot more because it's actually a lot safer road because you can see there's just nothing either side. I mean, we've got, we've got a pig field marsh one side and then we've got a cemetery the other side. I mean, we just, every time we say where we're going tonight and if we say cemetery, everyone knows where we're going. I mean, I know, there's going to be hundreds of cemeteries in the whole of Essex. I know we're all going to end up there eventually one day, but I just don't think anyone wants to end up there after doing a night of this. That's the only thing. So, no, uh, no, uh, that's got to be spooky now as well. I'm going to be thinking about that tonight on the way home. Just make sure, yeah, here lies our Died street race and ended up in a cemetery where he raced. No, not particularly uh, saying I want to. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to think about that anyway, though. It's a bit like telling people about smoking. You know, people know what the effects of smoking are. They see it day in, day out. They just don't think about it. Oh, that's a bit busier. You can see it's a fairly wide road. There's a few people gathering on the right hand side here now. Well, it looks like our favourite friends have just the turned back up again. No, they're just going straight past. Cool. I mean, I know what we are doing is illegal, but the way that we all see it, we're not hurting anyone. Um, we're not the people to go out. We don't. None of us do drugs or go out, commit robberies or like any crimes or anything like that. We just they think our crime is because we race our cars, and to us, I can't see the biggest. There's no no crime in that at all. I mean, I don't know. I think that's one reason why we don't like the police as well.
if a wheel bearing comes off, if a tyre deflates rapidly, if someone pulls out, if a handbrake comes off and a car rolls out into the road, a pedestrian runs across the road and trips and they have to take avoiding action, where are they going to go? They're going to go onto the pavement. That pavement's full of spectators. So very, very easily it can go wrong. Speed limit here is... Um, I actually don't know. It's worse. Uh, watch out. Yeah, I know. This is because... Oh, no, they're just... No, I think we're good to go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Right, does someone want right I'm just going to get someone to block the roads because if we block the ends of the road now, the police are not going to be able to get back down again. <laughs> I mean, this is this is just where it all starts. I mean, it's usually, it's usually about three or four of us actually start to race. I mean, all it is is just straight down the bottom. I know where the line is. I mean, that's just what happens most of the night. But then all of a sudden you start getting the more powerful cars come out and that's when it starts getting really interesting. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go! I mean, the two that are racing in a minute, best of friends, but I'll tell you, on the track they are just sworn enemies because one wins it one week, one week wins it the next week and it's just this ongoing thing at the moment. <laughs> Right, that one. Yeah, it's a good race, set. Eh? Now he's got to find out who's racing next. I mean, that's Katie, one of our uh, our get lady members of the group. Um, she likes a bit of a race here and then and everything, so it uh, be interesting to see who she's uh, going up against. Three, two, one, go! At the moment, just every, everyone wants to have a go now, so... Yeah. It's going to be uh, probably quite a busy night tonight, isn't it? So, I mean, I might even give it a go in a minute and take mine out. Two, one, even my parents, are just, they, can't, they still can't understand why I do it. They say, I can't understand why you spend all this money on your car. And it's just... It's great. Have you got something to show for it? Yeah, I have. That's the end of the day. I mean, I don't go out drinking. I don't do drugs. I don't get in trouble with the police. I go to work. I do like 10 hour day at work, Monday to Friday, the weekends I just want to relax, I want to come out with my mates and I want to spend my money on something. I can't see anything wrong with that, but I mean, I know quite a few people's parents don't know, just, they can't understand why we, we're so obsessed with it. But I mean, I think it's, I think it's just the buzz. <laughs> We use 9J tires. These are smaller tires than the regular ones for this rim. The tires are stretched out to fit the larger size rim. This makes them look cool. These tires are popular with drifters. Our type of driving wears out tires quickly. I change tires every time I drive. I have different tires next time, but we only buy used tires. Somebody saw all the drifters and called the police, so we are all scared. We are waiting for the police to go away. 
待ってます警察がいなくなるのを待ってますあこれはいつも毎週ちょっと30分ぐらい走ったら警察すぐ来てこう待,待待機してでまた入って待機を繰り返しですねいつもですねこれは。まあ、これちょっと残念ながらに警察が来ちゃってで今さっきえふとから、えー、山の方へ行ってきてリフトして、えー、まあ、今日行ってきたんですけどまあ、今日行ってきたんですけどしなしな生活しているのとは比べるとやっぱり、まあ、分かんないですどうなドリフトしながらどうなってるか分かんないですけどドリフ、まあ、今ドリフトしててよかったと思うし分かんないですけどドリフトしてて素敵だし、まあ、ドリフトを通じてですけど、ね、から。I'm glad I'm into drifting now, and I want to keep doing it. Italy, a country steeped in history. The Romans did quite a lot of invading and left behind some very useful stuff. A great deal of fun was had with music and the arts, as well as some very tasty cuisine and wine. We know all its exports, so it must have something going for it. Magnificent Italia, Tuesday at 9 on Discovery HD. Taking the cars out to have some fun today. 
going to uh, take a ride by Madison Square Garden, do some burnouts, act a little crazy out in the act. We're taking a few of the cars out there, about six or seven cars, wake the neighborhood up early in the morning. That's the best time to do it. Try to do it when the shift change. Go out there, have some fun. We got all these fast cars on Long Island. They never see these cars in Manhattan ever, so they might even like it and you know applaud us. We don't know how the cops gonna like it, but we're just gonna take them out there and see what happens. I have no idea what we're doing. What's up, y'all? I just went over there, man. There's more police cars over there than people. Where? At the garden. We got to see now a lot of cops out today. <laughs> Worse than last night, probably. I don't know what we're gonna do. The only time we can probably get away with this is if we pull cars to the side, kind of screen it off, rat cars to the middle, do his quick burnout, and just leave. Get the hell out of there. You know, we just got to time the traffic light. If we time the traffic light, we'll have enough time to get it over. The only problem is there's a police precinct right on the next block. You see the light, how, it, how it's flared? When that happens... We're coming block this up right here. We pull right up, like, I don't know, like, maybe the second taxi car driver. Second car. Yeah. You do your burnout right there. But don't... Don't pull up till that other light down there is on green. With that red one right there? Yeah, the red one. This way you don't have to stop. And then take it down four or five blocks and make a left or right turn. The precinct's right at the side anyway. All the police cars are yeah. at the side. I won't be making that right turn. <laughs> <laughs> can't be that, again, a, you know, the biggest superstars in the world perform at the Garden. Yep. And it was only Fat Rat Stern to perform. Right now, we're getting ready to head to Long Island. But first, we're going to ride around, see how the burnouts look, and head back to Long Island and get ready for tonight races. More street racing tonight. <laughs> 